Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Hawaii, where we encounter a Sovtard who tries that uh, sovereign citizen word game salad BS with the cops, and, well, he gets detained and his girlfriend gets arrested. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Do you have factual evidence that we are obligated to obey your orders? Yes, sir, you're traveling on a road. Well, dumbass, uh, yes, uh, there is factual evidence that uh, you do have to obey the officer during a traffic stop. In fact, Pennsylvania versus Mims calls for it, you dumbass. And not to mention that you have to identify yourself at a traffic stop according to Hawaii law and identify yourself. So, uh, yeah. There's a lot of things that uh, don't exactly work out too well in your little hypothesis you have right there. So, you're already annoying enough as it is, but let's just go ahead and continue on. You're on Pohola Village Road. I observed you driving past you. Expired registration and safety. You said we were traveling or driving? this vehicle parked here at the Paul's Repair gas station. I saw you exit the vehicle, go and attempt to put gas at pump number two. It wasn't able to put gas. You all then walked over here and put gas at this one. This lady right here is operating the same okay. Do you have factual evidence okay. that this is a vehicle? Matt, do you do you have factual evidence that you have a damn brain, dude? Because I really doubt that you have one. I'm I'm just so skeptical. I think we're not going to have to do a CAT scan to make sure you even have one. Because, of course, this is a vehicle. And it is a motor vehicle. It is a car as well. So... Take that little pissy attitude of yours and that the semantic word game and shove that right up where the sun don't shine because it's not going to help you out in this case. Excuse me, do you have factual evidence that this is vehicle? You're making a legal determination in the field. Are you authorized to make legal determinations? Do you have factual evidence that this is in fact a vehicle? Yes or no? This is a vehicle. Do you have factual evidence of that? Yes. Prove it. This is a vehicle. Prove it. This is a car. This is private property. Uh, no, it's not yes, private yes, property. Yes, it is private property. Do you have factual evidence that this hey, is a vehicle? Yeah, I forgot I was listening to a shit-eating Sovtard. Yeah, I realized that uh, you sovereign citizens, uh, in certain cases, call them vessels. Is that what you're going to call this uh, vehicle? It's a vessel? You do know that... Vessels are meant for the water and not the land, right? How is this not private property, sir? Why are you claiming this is not private property? Why don't you get out of people's faces? Stop threatening us with violence. You have a gun. Wow, we got a real winner right here. He's nothing but a gigantic, soft, hard, whiny baby man. I mean, uh, it, well, wonders never cease. Because if that cop was actually threatening you, you'd know it. You wouldn't have to uh, stand there and say, Oh, he's threatening me! He's threatening me! No, no, you would know it. Bullshit. Are you trying that lie again? Lie? You smell marijuana coming from this vehicle? You're lying, dude. Is that what you say when you want to try to... Do, do you well, have, I have reasonable to stop this vehicle. Do you, do you have weed in your fire. car or something no, that you, you plan on look. planting? But you're not going to look. It's the fatal state vehicle. Huh? Why won't I look? You want to? Yeah. But you're not. I want to... You're going to get arrested. I get, I get permission to search your well, vehicle, right? Yeah, I smell hey. marijuana. You're not going to walk over to my vehicle. Okay? Not? You're not listening and you're not abiding by law. What law am I breaking? Police officer instructing you to provide valid identification. Okay? What obligation do we have? Because look at the vehicle. It's expired. What do you, mean? you have no factual evidence that this is a vehicle. And at this point, we still have no evidence that you're even a man because you haven't even presented any characteristics of what a man is supposed to be doing in this situation, such as taking responsibility for his own actions and not behaving like a total mental midget zulu echo zulu 724 with an expired registration this also, is a private no car sticker. this is a private car it's 
not a private car. Yes, it is. How is it not? How is this not private property? Well, dude, let me explain something to you and uh, make sure you get that through your thick, soft, hard skull. In the state of Hawaii, like any other state in the Union, and just like in most countries in the world, you are required to have a registration plate and registration sticker on your car. I mean, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. If you want to travel the roadways in your own private conveyance, you've got to uh, register it with the state in order to do so. You could drive around, around on, on your land all you want and have expired plates, but once you go on the uh, public roadways, it's a different story. Please explain how this is not private property. So you're not going to provide me a license? This is private property. You're not going to provide me a license? What do I need to provide you with? Are you going to provide me with factual evidence? Yes or no? Do you have personal first-hand knowledge that we have an obligation to obey your orders? Are you claiming I'm obligated to provide you with something? What am I obligated to provide you with? Please tell me. Please tell me what I'm obligated to provide you with. With what? Why am I obligated to provide you with information? What? My phone is not in your face. Excuse me. At this point, there is just way too much swearing for the algorithm in the, or YouTube. So I'm just going to have to delete this section right here because I just need to keep my videos monetized. But dang, if he doesn't swear a whole lot at this point. Let the record show he has Arrested. assaulted her. Arrested. Why? For what? No. What have I done wrong? Let the record show he never asked me for any information. Let the record show that you're a complete liar and a moron because he did so several times. It's just that you refuse to cooperate. What crime am I accused of committing? Relax. Okay. Relax. Well, I have a... Relax. I have a rotator cuff no. injury. Well, relax. Okay. All right? Relax. Okay? You relax? So, yeah. Are you calm? I am All right, calm. relax. Of course I'm calm. You're, you're the one initiating violence. Relax. I am I relaxed. You multiple times to put down the phone. All right. I am relaxed. Relax. Are you saying that because uh, of him appearing, you want to make it seem like I haven't been relaxed? No. You're tensing Is up your the... hands. No, I'm not. Okay, just your own you're, body camera. You're, okay? you're pushing my hands. I have different bone structure, and you're causing an intense amount of pain. Relax. So and check that one off the list, too, for frauders and soft sits right there. The guy has a mysterious injury that makes it impossible for him to cooperate to begin with. I mean, well, wonders never cease with these morons. What am I accused of doing wrong? Again, you have no information. He has no information. You have no information. So you're willing to commit violence without personal first-hand knowledge of factual evidence of jurisdiction. There's no violence right now. Uh, bullshit. I'm handcuffed against my will. This is called false imprisonment. And I'll let you know your words may be used against you in a logically enforced prosecution hypothetical operating system. You know, you could use the shorter term for that. I mean, instead of just going the long route, just go ahead and use the short word for it. It's called a court. And don't think I didn't hear that shot about jurisdiction. You are in the physical jurisdiction of their department, their police department. Therefore, they can take you, they can arrest you if they've got probable cause. And at this point, you've been uncooperative and you just, well, are a complete moron. But being a moron is not an arrestable offense, but uh, committing crimes because you are a complete moron and don't understand how things work, well, that can be a arrestable offense for uh, being ignorant to the laws. Right now, you are under investigation. Your words may be used against you in a logically enforced prosecution. Where's the person that I hurt? Yeah, where's the victim? This is absolutely insane. You're shaking me down, dude. This is an unlawful detainment. I'm not accused of doing anything wrong. What what am I accused of doing wrong? What am I accused What am I accused of doing wrong? If you tell me that, I'll tell you my name. Well, first of all, let's address the uh, no victim, no crime 
BS. I mean, there are laws in every state where you have to uh, tag your vehicle and have it registered and everything like that, and you refuse to have your uh, tag properly uh, updated, and then when you got caught, you refused ID, and the list goes on and on, and you have been told several times in the beginning of the vehicle, I mean, beginning of the video, what you had been doing wrong, and you refused to acknowledge that. So it's not the officer's fault that you've been eating so many crayons that your uh, brain has been slowly turning into wax. What? For what reason? Why am I obligated to? Why am I obligated to provide you information? Yep. This is a retaliation stop. This is definitely this is a retaliation, retaliation stop. Yes. Like, why, why would I be handcuffed? Like, in what situation would I ever be in handcuffs? Tell me he didn't just say that. You're calling all your people here. Yeah, you, you're just threatening us with violence. It's not safe because you're here. Oh, I'm not being threatened. I'm in handcuffs, sir. That's called being threatened. Nope. Yes, it is. No, this is called unlawful imprisonment. No. Yes. I don't have an obligation to obey your orders, sir. You, you have no evidence. I not hurt anybody. I'm doing what I'm doing. You guys are occupying Hawaii. You're bothering me. I did something wrong, and I did it. Okay. You're about to write me right now. Yes, you are. You're taking me down. I can show you though. Okay, you shut it what are you doing? You're, 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 you're doing it in my car. Look at you. You're not shaking me down? Oh, no? So when you arrest me, what? This is called well, a, This is called a, You're not trying to get money out of me? Why would you arrest me? I don't know. I was just trying to do what I'm doing. I don't know what you're trying to do to me. you got a 17 people here on me. So okay, then why am I in handcuffs? What have I done wrong? What have I done wrong? So what is the law that says I have to call more of your guys? I don't like that. Well, he would tell it to you, but you would just say it's unconstitutional or you never heard of such a thing or something like that, even though you've lived in the United States probably your whole life and uh, understand that there is law and order in this country. It's not about anarchy. Many hours later. Okay, I won't go in the car. Don't we're touch going, me. We're going right. to go over there. Listen, okay? You can't go into the car until we're in done. You're going right? to steal property. You can't go into the You're car. You're giving me an opportunity to be a free man? Talk cool. to me. No. Talk to me, all right? I'm investigating. Yes, that's fine. Okay. As long as you don't obstruct any kind of investigation, we're fine. Okay. You're obstructing my investigation. Okay. So investigate all you want. Just don't go into the car, okay? That's yeah. my private if property. If you come in a close proximity of her or that officer there. That's my car. If you do, I will arrest you for obstruction, okay? So I give you the line right now. If you go back in the car until our investigation is complete, or you bother that officer or her Let the from a close show he's proximity, me with violence. I will arrest you for obstruction. Okay. Let the record show he's threatening me with violence. All right. Let the record show you're threatening me with violence. Okay. So again, don't All go right. in the car. Don't go near her. All right. Well, as soon as you, you do, don't, you will be arrested. So will you. Okay. You might be arrested if you go near her. Okay. Calm down, sit. Right I am there. calm. Don't tell me to calm down. Quit pretending that I'm the problem. You're the problem. You understand, Chip? Yeah. Quit. If he goes in the car yeah. and he talks to her or no. he goes close to her. Good job. Good boy, Chip. Good boy. So you can be demeaning all you want, sir. You're, you're demeaning. You just ordered time. him. You just you're okay. you're being demeaning to me. Direct, you're you're ordering me. me. Don't talk to him. Don't talk to I'll him. I'll talk right? to whoever I want. All right. Good you, job following yeah. orders, Chip. Yeah. Good job. You have factual evidence. That I'm obligated to obey your orders. Yes or no? So no. You stand there oh, you don't. Want. Oh, oh, but why do I have to obey your orders and not use my private property? Why can't I get? Why can't I get, yeah. why can't I get my property? Car, we're gonna arrest you. I'm gonna arrest you. Why? That's, Officer that's Trent my car. Two, two, six, gonna arrest you. So that's, you're claiming ownership of this car as well? That's my car. That's okay. that's so private you know. property. Good to know. Hey, okay, Robert. Uh, I'm asking you to step aside so we can finish our investigation. Okay. I'm asking you to provide factual evidence that I am obligated to obey your orders. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass! Such a dumbass! You're an ass! I'm trying to answer your question. No, you're not. What so, factual what evidence, factual evidence 
shows that the Hawaii Revised Statutes apply. What factual evidence exists that would prove that the Hawaii Revised Statutes apply to anyone? We're in Hawaii, that's why. I'm sorry, we're, where? We're, in we're Hawaii, on an right? island? Okay, so what factual evidence what exists factual evidence that, that shows here just, just because I'm physically here, here in Hawaii that, you're that not the here. Constitution and, I totally understand. and Hawaii Revised Statutes apply? But we're apply. here on planet Earth, which is in Hawaii, I'm asking which you is the United States okay. of America. Listen, listen to him go off like we're talking Hawaii about planet Hawaii Earth and shit. <laughs> like, why are you talking about that? So what factual evidence okay. do you so have? So now that she's arrested, you can talk to any officer you want. There's no safety precautions or anything like that. But however, we are taking the vehicle, towing it. Why? If you go into the vehicle, I will arrest you for obstruction. Why? I'm just giving you the line. Why? And if you cross that line, why? Why can't? Allows me why can't I get my property? What have okay. I done wrong? Well, now there you have it, folks. I mean, his girlfriend arrested, his car towed, and now he's gonna have to walk home or get a cab or something like that. I mean, it doesn't help to be a complete moron like that. I mean, it's just gonna cost you more and more in the long run. But hey, if he wants to be that damn stupid, that's his prerogative. But it's just, like I said, not good for him. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.